People worry about engines failing, but the real weak point on a long-haul flight is something far less dramatic, the human body. On ultra-long flights, pilots can cross six or more time zones in one duty. The aircraft doesn't notice, the systems don't care, but the pilot's brain is suddenly operating at what feels like 3 a.m. And here's the uncomfortable bit. Experience doesn't override biology. Fatigue doesn't announce itself. It shows up as slower judgment, narrower attention, delayed decisions that still feel normal. This is why aviation doesn't rely on willpower, because believing you're fine is often the problem. Instead of pretending pilots are superhuman, the system designs around weakness. Hard duty limits, mandatory rest, extra pilots, in-flight bunk sleep, fatigue, risk models. The rules assume pilots will get tired and stop them before it matters. So here's the real divide. Do you want safety based on how alert someone feels or on rules that assume humans will eventually fail? Because the aircraft can cross the planet effortlessly, the human can't.